If you are venturing into Sales Cloud, I think it is paramount to understand how price books, product schedules, and opportunity products come together and play a key role in maintenance and management of opportunities. So keeping these three features in mind for today's session, I have, to, I have created an exercise. Actually, I have made one up, but I can assure you that it does represent pretty much all the key features that you may encounter in any scenario in your company because this touches opportunity, opportunity products, product schedules, as well as pricing, um, both standard as well as custom price books. But before I jump into this exercise, let's refresh some of the key terms that are involved here. First, product, right? As we know, it is an individual item or service that you plan to sell to your customers or prospects. And a product must be associated with an active price book before you can sell it. And that's the next concept we are getting into, what is a price book. Generally, when people talk about price book, they are referring to the combination of price book and price book entry. From an user's angle, though, it doesn't really matter whether these are two distinct entities or one, but if you are tweaking or doing some development work, I think it does make makes a difference to understand how price book, price book entry and products are associated. And this picture, I think, clearly says the story. So as you can see, price book entity has two key fields, name and description. Whereas price book entry has all the key pricing elements, including standard pricing, list pricing, and this entity has a lookup relationship both to pricing book as well as to products. So I think it does help to understand how these three entities are organized. Now coming back to price book. So why do we need one? <clears throat> if you are selling your products uniformly with the same pricing mechanism to all of your customers, I guess you don't need a custom price book. Whereas if you plan to segment your market, with different pricing mechanism, you do need to define custom price books. And as you can imagine, Salesforce comes prepackaged with a standard price book, which you can use and copy and create your own price book. Coming down to opportunity product, it's a simple term when you're adding a product to your opportunity, it becomes opportunity product. It's as simple as that. Schedules, on the other hand, does require a bit of more deliberation. Now think how a product or service is sold. And generally there are two ways, right? You can either deliver your product all at once and have customers pay you over a period of time in installments. And that's what we are referring as revenue schedule. On the flip side though, you could get paid all at once, but deliver your product over a period of time. And that's when we are talking about quantity schedule. And there is a related concept called default schedule. And that is when you want to have a predetermined schedule which you would like to apply across the entire customer's spectrum. 
So with that background, let's jump to our exercise. And define our product and schedules, right? So as you can see, I have already defined our three products. Solar panel, if you recall, we want to have a default schedule. And you do this by defining a revenue schedule here. So we are saying, repeat the amount for each installment for next 12 months and apply this to all customers who are using this product and it has revenue scheduling enabled whereas the second product so let's refresh our exercise here right so we are creating an opportunity it has two products, solar panels, and the material required for solar panels. Solar panels do require a default schedule that we just defined, right, 12 months, right here. For 12 months, and repeat the same amount. The second material uh, product has no default schedule, but we are going to create one. Okay, so let's go back to the material, and as you can see, there is no default schedule, but we are enabling revenue schedule for this product, so we can create one with our opportunity okay the third product rather service has no schedule it's not allowed which means customer has to pay that upfront so let's take a look at this product and as you can see there is no default schedule and it is not enabled for a schedule at all right so we just created a three products with proper schedules. Coming down, now we need to have standard prices for each of our products, which again, I have already done it. So for maintenance, the standard price is $3,000. Going back to solar panel our standard price is $125 for each panel okay and for the material the standard price is 2000 oops here you go so the standard price is $2000 now we need to create a custom price book and let's call it solar business for east region and offer a custom price for solar panel and custom price for the material but use the standard price for the maintenance contract so let's do that so first we need to create a price book <clears throat> let's call it solar panel for east region price book and activate it you can if you choose to copy a standard price book or any other price book as a template for creating this one but since we have only uh, only three products i'm going to create them manually so let's save it and now we need to add our three products, right? Solar panels, the material, and the service to this custom price book. So let's just do that. And this is where it is asking what custom pricing 
would you like to offer? So for maintenance, we don't want to change. So just copy the list price. For solar panels, we would like to offer some discount. And also for the material, we would like to offer some discount. So we just done creating a custom price book with our products. Now, as you can imagine, next comes the opportunity. So let's create one. So we are installing solar panels at 456 Main Street. You can put any amount because we are shortly going to add these products which is going to change the amount and let's say this is a new customer and we are going to get done in a month or so and we are a little late in creating this opportunity but we know that it is quite probable we are almost 50 percent sure that this opportunity will get closed. Okay, so we just created this opportunity. Now let's add products and validate product schedules. And as you recall, before you can add a product, to an opportunity, it must be part of an active price book, which we, I, we already have. It's called Solar Panel Price Book for East Region. But opportunity requires an active price book and only one active price book. And that's the reason Salesforce is asking you to select one. So choose a price book first and let's choose US price book okay and then once you do that now you can add your products oops I chose the wrong one sorry we need to select solar panel price book and now you can add products. So let's add all of these three products. And now we are confirming quantities for each of these products. For solar panel, we want 10 of these and one of each for the rest. And let's save it. So we just associated an active price book and added three products that are part of that active price book. And as you can see, your amount is updated. And because your probability is 50%, our expected revenue is half of the, the closing amount. Now, one last thing before we close, and that is to review um, product schedule. Now, if you remember, solar panel is supposed to have a default schedule for 12 months, right? $1,000 each, because we chose a list price of $100 for 10 solar panels for 12 months. And that's exactly what you see in your revenue schedule. If you choose to, though, you could change it, but I'm just leaving it as it is for now. And if you remember, for materials, we had no, that's right, no default schedule. But we want to create one for this opportunity. That was part of our deal here right that there is no default schedule but we want to offer this customer an opportunity to pay in four installments so that's exactly we are going to do so as soon as the installation is complete 
allow this customer to divide this amount into four quarterly payments right and you can review and save and now you have created a custom product schedule particularly for this opportunity okay now going back oops to our opportunity take a look at maintenance contract and again there was no schedule allowed in other words customer has to pay all of the maintenance contract upfront and that's the reason you cannot create a custom schedule for this product okay so I think we are done with our exercise and again to briefly recap what we have done we have created an opportunity with three products with certain product schedules associated and we created a custom price book using standard prices and with that I think we are done so if you like um, this exercise please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions or feedback feel free to write me at avi at 11concepts.com until next time signing off thank you so much for uh, watching take care